In this video guys, I'm going to be sharing with you an update on the Propecia case that we recently made a video on. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we do tons of science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. Now, if you want updating on any of the latest hair loss news or any breakthroughs that we find, make sure to hit subscribe to the channel. So now let's jump into my computer. Yo guys, so we're in my computer now. So we recently made a video on uh, the investigation performed by Reuters. Uh, I'll link you to the original video in the description. And Reuters have investigated some of the claims that, Pro that Merck had made about Propecia and kind of the statistics about the sexual side effects and how they skewed the data. So. Uh, this is just a little bit of an update. So Reuters have now actually asked a judge to release these documents that have been sealed by by Merck and by Propecia and by the judges and whatever. So they've done that now. So that's like an update here. Uh, this was published on September the 13th. So just a couple of days ago. And um, they have filed a motion in Brooklyn in New York after the article has been published. And what they've said is they've said that this is a case of tremendous importance that has been sealed without on the record findings explaining that sealing, which is argued in his motion to intervene in the case. The first amendment precludes such an outcome. What they're saying is that a June 25th Reuters investigation revealed how judges have allowed the makers of dozens of consumer products to file under seal in their court's information that is pertinent to public health and safety. They often do so without explanation, though in most jurisdictions they are required to provide one. They've said that hundreds of thousands of Americans have been killed or seriously injured due to these defective products. And um, while evidence that, that could have alerted consumers and regulators to potential danger remain under seal. Now, they've also again talked about the 1100 Propecia related lawsuits that have been filed against Merck. And they've been consolidated before Judge Kogan and a settlement was made for $4.3 million. Now, um, what you can actually do is, is if you, I'll link you to this in the description. You can click this to read the actual motion itself if you're interested in that and, and what they're actually trying to get them to uh, release. That's quite interesting. So I would recommend that you go and have a look at that. So guys, that's what we want to share with you on the whole Propecia case. Now, if you do want notifying, don't forget to hit subscribe to the channel. And yeah, we'll update you soon. See you in the next video.